Bruh. Really? We need a billionaire <laughs> to go down to the to the border to tell us how to fix it. It's unbelievable. I I don't know if this is cringe. Yeah, I'm glad he takes an interest in going to the border. Of course, we need Elon Musk to come down to the border. Take a look and see if he has some good ideas because he landed on Mars. I think you could pick out any any citizen in the United States and go, Hey, what do you think about fixing the border? Probably the first response is, would be, uh, let's get let's get the military down there. Let's get a, a construction crew down there, and let's just build the wall. I, I, okay, okay. Or you could go to the border and be there with a billionaire who is going to try to take his knowledge that he learned from trying to land on Mars and send satellites into the sky and dig tunnels under the ground and build electric cars on our on our roads. And he's going to take some of his knowledge as he live streams his appearance at the border, arguably the number one issue plaguing this country that even Democrats got to admit the, except for one, Ayanna Presley, mm -hmm. that it is a problem in this country that needs to be addressed. So he put on a T-shirt and he headed down and yeah. let X live stream it. He went there with Republican Congressman Tony Gonzalez, and he's trying to get a hold of this. Do not be surprised if Musk has a way to solve this problem. This is a live stream. Don't be surprised. Why am I the only one that finds this a little ridiculous? I don't know. There. I mean. Don't be surprised. He has some ideas. And let's see, what, what could be his idea? Well, uh, you need to seal up this part where some idiot went and, and uh, welded a part. We all know that happened. Welded a part so people can, let's weld that part back up that you tore down. Let's build the wall. Um, let's put security on there. Let's have some resources down there for people who are, you know, kind of behind the wall. Maybe you can chuck them some water. Call Mexican, the Mexican uh, government and go, hey, you got a group of people down here trying to cross over. You need to come get them. All right. I mean, it, it's not, I, I, think a, I think a kid could figure this out. A kid could figure this out. His unfiltered visit with the Texas congressman. You know, he lives 200, a little more than 200 miles away from, from where this is all happening in Eagle yeah. Pass, which is the kind of the epicenter of the migrant crisis right now. A tiny little town of 28,000 people. They've been totally overwhelmed with more than 7,500 in the past two days coming across the border. So here's Elon Musk in his black cowboy hat. You can see through his mirrored aviator glasses, he's live streaming his visit. He she just said there's 7,200 coming over. Now, Chicago yesterday... Uh, had a video uh, one of the newscasts that it, I need to I need to get that video because the it seemed like the commentator seemed a little giddy. Oh look, we've had over 300 buses in the past few months bring in migrants. So what's happened? Where where'd they come from? Where are you bussing them from? Are you bussing them from Texas border? What border are you? shooting them on buses and then driving them all the way to Chicago. He wants you to see what he's seeing. Watch. Guys, do your daughter a favor this year by getting her. At Eagle Pass, I uh, just arrived and um, we're, we're just going to go around and, and talk to the, um, the, the major officials uh, and, and law enforcement and whatnot that uh, are here as and, and just kind of eyeball the situation, get a sense for what's going on. This is the raw feed you're seeing right here. So, um, all right, with that, oh, and I should, I, let, actually, let me preface this by also saying that um, I am, uh, you know, as, as an immigrant to the United States, I'm extremely pro-immigrant, um, and I believe that uh, we need a greatly expanded uh, legal immigration system, uh, and that we should uh, let anyone in the country who is hardworking and honest and uh, will be a contributor to the United States. Uh, we should have expedited legal approval for anyone who, who sort of falls in that category. Um, but then by the same token, we, we should also not be allowing uh, people in the country if they're, if they're breaking the law. That doesn't make sense. The law is there for a reason. But I think we want to do both things, uh, ex 
<laughs> Smooth out legal. Isn't that what everybody thinks? Man. Uh, it must be nice to be the king. Y'all ever seen History of the World Part 1? <laughs> he always said, Mel Brooks, it's good to be the king. Um, I like Elon Musk. Don't misunderstand. I mean, he's done a good job with uh, Twitter, you know, making it more free speech and not kicking everybody out because uh, it's not politically correct or whatever people were saying on there. Um, but he's saying what we already know and what our, most of the people feel like. We Sure, people want to come to this country, contribute to the country. We talked about in a video yesterday, Mexico. You can't just go to Mexico and if you sneak in, they're going to throw you in prison. You have to contribute to to the society. You can't be a detriment. You can't just go to Mexico and jump on welfare or whatever they have programs for their own citizens. Apparently, they don't have good programs for their citizens because they're all flooding over here. Legal immigration, and and then uh, uh, stop, stop the you know a, a, sort of a flow a flow of people that is uh, of such magnitude that is actually what leading to a collapse of social services. Uh, where uh, even uh, America's largest city, New York, is buckling under the pressure of uh, just how many um, illegal immigrants are, are going to New York. If, if New York can't handle it, well, pretty much uh, no part of the country can. And we're full. We are full. And Well, New York's on the other side of the country. How the heck are they getting there? Why are they not stopping that? I don't, oh, man. It's, it's just frustrating. You know, he's a Texan. Uh, he's got uh, pr uh, two businesses, one down by Brownsville Lives in uh, Texas. along the coast. He, he's got a house, small, modest, <laughs> in uh, Austin, Texas. He, you know, he favors uh, legal immigration because he came here to this country from South Africa oh legally. And that's one of the reasons why we just heard his two-prong approach. Essentially, he gave uh, the Elon Musk uh, treatment. He said uh, there should be expedited legal approval to welcome hardworking and honest migrants, but you should bar entry for those who are breaking the law. And that means all the- Wow, is that too hard to figure out? It doesn't take a billionaire or a TV commentator to figure this out, for Pete's sake. Thousands who come across each and every day. The day before he went down to Eagle Pass, he posted on X, he said, we actually do need a wall and we need to require people to have some shred of evidence to claim asylum to enter. He said, as everybody is doing that, it is a hack that you can literally Google to know exactly what to say. Okay, so. So Elon Musk just said what I said earlier and what I thought everybody, probably in America, that uh, unless you're a libtard, let them all in, la, 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 la. We just have endless money and endless resources for all these people. Elon Musk said, build the border. Build the border. We need a border. Elon Musk says we need a border. Oh, my God. So now what? The government's going to go, Elon Musk said we needed a border. I guess we're going to get one. And so that's what's going on. He's saying that these people who are coming in, many of them uh, working with cartels to get to the United States, they know exactly what to say because the federal law says if somebody says this, you got to let them in. And Lawrence, that's what they're doing. Yeah, and 90 percent of them, once they go through the process, don't even qualify right. for asylum. Um, this is AOC. She has some words on X. She says, what's funny about this photo? No one said anything was funny, but okay. <laughs> the House is holding important funny, votes Mark. in D.C. tonight. People are scrambling to avoid a shutdown, but this Republican congressman, who represents the district, decided to skip town to joyride with a billionaire when his own party has just a single-digit margin and needs his vote. So all of a sudden, she's concerned about, is she going to vote for the border security that is going to be in that appropriations. Right. Uh, what city Brian? says she rep represents? Oh my God. Why do we need a vote for border security? Why? Just somebody tell me why. I, that is just ridiculous. <laughs> they got to pass a law. 
Oh my God, people are coming over. What do we do? What do we do? Oh my God, we better pass a law. We better write the bill and put in the right things to say in the bill. What the heck? New York. What, New York. what is being affected right. outside the border city? Right. What is affecting me? Right. None. And, and she refuses to go back to the border, right. although, here's this photo of AOC. This is her during the Trump administration. Yeah. Crying outside, hugging everyone. Meanwhile, we have kids that are going through. That was just all photo op for her. Come on. Razor wire. She hasn't hugged them. Uh, she hasn't gone back to the border when the kids, I think right. last week, there were two that drowned. Yeah. I mean, it's just week after oh, week after tragic. week. But apparently. But do we care even what she, what? Again. Okay, I'm going to pick up the phone. I'm going to make a phone call. I'm going to make a phone call. Citizens call. Hey, we're all citizens. Let's make citizens arrest. Let's, we're get, we, need, we need some security down at the border. How hard is that? How hard is the president, chief of the military, get on the phone and say, get down there. Seal it up. Let's get the best construction company down there. I don't care. Everybody, get on board. Get down there and get it done. Fix it. Fix it. Stop trying to pass a bill and diddly daddling around. It's like this is all just a big game. This is just a big game. And we're all just little pawns in it. Lee Brian. Uh, Representative Ayanna Presley yeah. says um, there's really no crisis. Yeah, look at even Jake Tapper can't believe her words. York. Listen to this. Look at me. And we're in the midst of a humanitarian crisis, and we have to fix a broken system. Wait, and we also need you think it is secure? You think the border is secure or it is not secure? I believe that we are in the midst of a humanitarian crisis and there needs to be federal investment to support those migrant families do you think that the that is always the excuse <clears throat> this is called the bleeding liberal heart it's a humanitarian crisis well i'm gonna tell you what if there was a border if the border was secure we would not have a humanitarian problem they would be going through the proper channels if it took a family five years to save their money so they could get a visa or whatever to cross the border. We all, if you want to buy a car here and you're an American citizen, you want to buy a new car, you want to buy things, guess what? You, you have to save for it. You have to work hard. That's life. Nobody said life was easy. It's always the libtard saying it's a humanitarian crisis. Yeah, it's a crisis because you guys created this crisis. You created this crisis by opening the floodgates. And now there's a tsunami, a tsunami through this country of ours because you have a bleeding heart. The border is secure. I just, is that what you said? Yes, the border is secure. But if you have millions. Of oh, my God. Yeah, it's secure, all right, because it's doing just what we want it to do. We want the tsunami. We want we want all this extra debt because of the strain it's going to put on the country for resources for these people. These people can't even speak English. How are they going to get jobs? They need training. Children in schools. Some of them... Some of these people coming across this border don't even speak Spanish or we don't even know. We don't have people capable of even teaching them because they can't speak their language. But the border is secure because it's doing just what we want it to do. Of undocumented migrants coming into the country, how is the border secure? Yes. Tell Jake, us. this is not a new crisis. Um, it does require uh, more political will. That's a good point. Oh my God. Why is it political to shut the border to every... There's countries all over this great world of ours. Beautiful, beautiful ball. Beautiful blue, green ball. All these countries, they seem to protect their borders. 
Why is it a crisis? Never let a good crisis go to waste. Right? Never let a good crisis go to waste. I tell you what, I hope, I hope, um, I'm, I'm hoping to see that there's going to be a change in the pulse, the pulse of America to stop with this woke, libtard agenda. Because guess what, people? If we don't, stop the bleeding heart. Stop it. Stop it. Just stop it. Because it's going to affect us all. It's going to affect your children and your grandchildren. It's going to affect... We can't get out of debt. We're trillions of dollars in debt. And how much money do you think this is going to cost us because we keep letting them pour in here? And Chicago is trying to... Uh, putting them in big, huge warehouses? They need to eat. They have to shower. They, it's expensive. If you have children, you know it's expensive. When you, you have a family member... That needs to come and stay with you for a while. You know how much more it costs in the household for the energy, the food costs, uh, travel expenses. It's expensive to take on borders. Even in your own household. Trust me, I know. It, it, it's, a, it's an extra expense. Even if you have one person move into your home that you're helping out. Whether it's a family member or a close family member. Whatever the case may be. It is a strain on the, the family budget. <clears throat> what do you think millions coming in is doing to the overall budget? And guess who's paying for it? You are. We are. The working people are paying for this. Right? If you're in, you, you, got, a, you got your budget in your household and you're looking and you're like, well, hey, we can't do this this month because we got to pay this, 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 and that. So maybe, maybe next month, maybe we can save for this. This is what the government should be doing. It's, it's pretty basic one-on-one -on -one economics and business because you run your household like a business, right? You're just not throwing money out the window. It just drives me crazy. What did, you, what did you just say to Lauren? Yeah, so it is a crisis now. I but mean, yet <laughs> it's secure. So which yeah. is it? Is it a crisis or is it a border that's secure? Like she says, Both. she's the only one saying that. We're seeing it's, record it's, numbers. We're yeah, that's called double speak. <coughs> and I, I want everyone to pay attention when they dub when they double speak like that. It's double speak. That's what that's what it is. It's a crisis, but the border's secure. You know, I noticed the last few years, the libtards, they, they don't hide it anymore. They just, they just tell you. They just tell you what they're doing. And everybody's like, la, 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 la. Well, we better start paying attention. And you need, and the best way to do it is voting. These liberal states, Chicago, California, well, Illinois, rather, Chicago, these cities that have been just destroyed by liberal policies for decades. And they've just ramped it up, man. They've just gone full speed ahead. Full speed ahead with their destroying the policies by laxes and uh, police force where, well, we don't want to, you know, they were just hungry. You know, they went in and stole something, you know, this, this kind of thing. And it just, you know, they're playing catch and release with, with regular American criminals. We're not even catch and release the, the illegals. So you think crime is bad? You keep letting millions and millions of people in. Crime's just going to get worse and worse. We have our own crime problem with our own, our own American citizens. There's always going to be crime, but good Lord. Now you just quadrupled the, the, the situation. Seeing thousands of people cross every single day. Look at the images. Oh a two-month-old baby was crossing. It's just good to see Elon Musk and Look Representative Gonzalez doing the job that President Biden should this. do, that Kamala Harris should do. We aren't seeing those images. We aren't seeing them visit the border. We did see AOC visit and start crying when she saw the kids in cages. Why would they go visit the border? Plus, Biden's not even running the country. He's, he needs a nap, a couple of naps a day. But the, but the thing is, how come, how come Trump was able to stop it? Because it's pretty basic. He was building a wall. It's pretty basic. 
pretty big. My kid, he could walk in here and see this and say, oh, yeah, they need to build a wall. They need some military over there. A child could figure this out. Even though that was a Barack Obama mm -hmm. thing, because uh, Donald Trump was in office yeah. and not Joe Biden. I think it. I think it's both things. Lee, you were asking, is it a secure? Or is it a crisis? I think they think it is a secure crisis because they've got a handle on it. They're <laughs> they're letting the people in. There you can see. One. It's a secure crisis. I mean, any of the commentary kind of cracks me up. It's like, you know, they they just have this narrative. I don't care if it's Fox News or whatever news that it is. It, it, it just has this narrative. They're kind of nonchalant about it. It's like, why don't they just talk like the rest of us? Aren't we tired of just being kind of bait and switch, talk to? Once again, uh, where the uh, Border Patrol cut the razor wire because there were so many people. And ultimately, the Border Patrol doesn't want anybody to drown. They, they, if people are going to come that far, they're going to let them in, and then they're going to process them. They just can't keep up with the talking yeah. points, though, Brian. Senator P Patty Murray, uh, chairwoman of the Appropriations Committee, this is mm -hmm. what she told reporters. She says, there are some colleagues that are concerned about more border security. John Tester from Montana, who's going to be in a heated race, said the border needs some attention. Of course, Gavin Newsom was just on Hannity on Wednesday and said that uh, there are some challenges at the border. So every Democrat that has... Oh, my God. Gavin Newsom said there's challenges. You know, there's challenges. We need funding. We need policies. We need bills passed. We need more money. Gavin Newsom. Oh, my God the brain right now because they know it's going to be a big issue in the next election brian or acknowledge it why this shouldn't even be an election issue this is a national security issue which the government is supposed to be protecting the borders god knows uh terrorists whatever the heck's coming in here that there is some sort of problem right. at the border. Yeah, there's a problem. How about how about a town of 28,000, as you problem. mentioned, Angelie, with 8,000 a day crossing? We're almost at the levels of all of 2022 right now and 2023 of illegals who have come across, let alone the gotaways. So if you are the president of the United States and you want to get four more years mysteriously, yet the economy's not good, uh, the inter foreign policy doesn't rate high, you don't have uh, a good rating uh, right now, approval rating overall, what do you do when you lose head to head with Governor Haley by six and to most polls to the former President Trump? You have to quickly vilify your opponent. But first point out something that is not happening, and that is bipartisanship. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley. I mean, even the commentary was ridiculous. Well, what do you do? What do you do? An election cycle's coming up. You need bipartisanship. You need to hammer home, blah, 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 blah. It's all doublespeak, too. It's just ridiculous. Why can't they talk like normal people? I mean, I consider myself the normal folk of America that's seeing this and disgusted with it because it's absurd. It's absurd. Oh, my God. We need to pass a bill to secure the border. It's ridiculous. The government's job is to protect the borders of, protect us from foreign and domestic. It's also to uh, fix our infrastructure, make sure we got power running and blah, blah, blah. Make our, our freeways are good and pro protect the border. Seal it up. It's ridiculous. Well, there you go. That's what's happening. I don't know. I could just keep fussing about it but you know let me know what you think and there you have it